Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I know I've been kind of absent for a while. Uh, I am super sorry to those of you that do watch my videos and I appreciate you so much. <laughs> um, but I'm back. I am going to try my hardest to not be slack lacking anymore. I can't be a slacker anymore. Anymore. Thank you, promise. promise. <laughs> But anyway, today guys, I'm going to do this look. Um, I love it. I think it turned out really well. Um, and it's all drugstore other than my mascara. <laughs> but anyway guys, if you want to see how I got here, please keep watching. started today I'm gonna use <laughs> I'm gonna use my bare minerals prime time original primer and I know I've been super absent lately um, so I put out my last vlog week vlog week six late I was in Minnesota and I, it took me it literally took like 36 hours for that video to upload I'm not even kidding. It was ridiculous. I was trying to do it from my tablet on my mom's Wi-Fi and it was just, it was bad. It was really bad. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, we had a really good time. The last week I was there, um, we went to the lake a couple times, um, just had like a lot of family time. Um, but I didn't get any vlogging done, so that's why I've been like slack a lacking lately. Anyway, we got home on the third, I think. Yeah, it would have been the third because it was like it was the day before the Fourth of July. Anyway, for foundation, I'm going in with the True Match Lumi and the Shame Shade Natural Beige. Also, while I'm rambling, I just want to say thank you to everyone that does watch my videos. Um, thank you to everyone that's subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely go do it. <laughs> my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. I should use my Revlon. I love the L'Oreal Lumi, but when my skin is breaking out, it's like not enough coverage. Um, I really, 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 really like this foundation as far as full coverage goes. So stuff is amazing. So good. It's very matte though. Just kind of dragging the extras on my eyelids to kind of prime my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this guy to set my under eyes. I love this stuff. It's so messy though. So messy. And I'm going to bake a little. I don't know. I haven't done this in a really long time, but why not? Why not change? And then I'm just going to leave that on there while I do eyes. Um, I'm going to use my Morphe palette today. This is the 3502. So gorgeous. I'm sure a million and one tutorials out there using this, but it's just, it's so freaking good. I love it so much. Love it. Love it. Um, to start out, I'm going to go in with this guy right here. Just kind of all over, actually. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this one right here. I'm just using the same brush. And try. I'm going to try and keep it in the crease. Not going too high up. Just to deepen it a little bit. Next, 
Next, I'm taking kind of a dense flat brush and I'm going to go in with, ooh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this guy right here. I used to have the sheet with all the names of these colors, but I don't, don't know what I did with it. And I'm gonna go just on my outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush from before that I used before and kind of soften the edges of this a little bit. And then for lids, I'm gonna go in with a touch of this on a flat brush. I'm just gonna kind of pack it in right in the center of my eyelid. And I'm just leaving the very inner corners blank. And then I'm going to take some of this one right here and go on my inner corners. take a clean brush and sweep off this extra powder and then next for bronzer I am going in with my physician's formula butter bronzer and this is actually the deep bronzer shade Light Mauve by Maybelline. It's really pretty. And then for highlight, I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Pearl. I love this stuff. I know I should really get like other colors and like other brands, but I just, I just can't do it. Next, I'm going to do my little beauty mark and I'm still just using my Wet n Wild eyeliner. And I have cut the tip of it off so it makes like... I just, just one little dot and it's good to go. Okay, next to finish off my eyes, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus eyeliner in black and I'm gonna do my waterline and tight line. I hate doing this, it makes my eyes water every time. Also, I am here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Not as bad as it usually is. Yeah. Cool. And for my under eye, let's think, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? I think I'm gonna tie this color right here with a small pencil brush. I need a better pencil brush. All mine are like super pokey and, and terrible. I'm just gonna blend that out. And I just dug myself in the eyeball. I'm gonna take just the tiniest amount of black eyeshadow, kind of blend it at just the outer corners 
in my eye, just for a little added drama. Because I, I like to be dramatic. And then I'm just going to go back in with that same blending brush I used earlier. No extra product, and just kind of finesse that in a little. Cool. And then I'm going to comb out my brows real quick. Normally I use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, brow gel, this stuff, which is freaking amazing. I love it so much. I usually use the color soft brown. I think I'm going to try medium brown next time. Um, but today I'm going to go in with my dip brow in the shade dark brown. better than sex as always I'm almost out I need a new one and this look would probably look really good with some falsies but I don't have any so I'm just gonna put on like 12 coats of mascara and then last but not least I don't know why I'm talking like that I don't sound like that no. <laughs> anyway, last but not least, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede, which they put out that new line of lips, and I want to go buy, like, every color, um, but my husband might kill me, so I'll probably just get, like, three or four. <laughs> uh, and this is the shade 7, which is Sandstorm. So I don't know if that was the right color. No, I'm not feeling this color. Not feeling it at all. Okay, so I've taken Sandstorm off and I am going in with <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline. Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Fighter. Hopefully this looks good because once you put these on, there's no going back. I messed up. I messed up. Also, my camera's too high up. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. Uh, I think it turned out amazing. I am totally digging it. Ooh, I am feeling this look. I love this. <laughs> I'm super excited, if you can't tell. Um, anyway guys, I hope you liked this. Um, I, sorry I talked so much in the beginning. Um, but anyway, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you later.